Hello everyone, welcome to Architect Interview Question Series by Knowledge Powerhouse. Let's go on to our next question. Question is, what is a load balancer in software architecture? So load balancer is like a very generic concept, but it's like a component also and heavily used nowadays. So let's understand what is a load balancer and how do we use it in the software architecture? So load balancer, if you see this picture, it's a component and it takes care of uh, efficiently distributing the incoming network traffic, also called as load, among a group of backend servers. So many clients are requesting and they are like cluster of servers. Now clients do not directly reach out to the so each server. They first reach to the load balancer and from load balancer, this traffic is distributed to backend servers. So it is an important concept, uh, component in the microservices architecture mainly and even in distributed systems where we have a cluster of servers behind and we can scale up scale down so there is a need to put a load balancer in front in monolith this was more like a nice to have kind of a thing and it will be like not so heavily used but in microservices definitely like when we have thousands of nodes serving the same service you need something in the front so that uh, that load can be redirected to all these thousand nodes so whenever we add a new node in the distributed system, the load balancer has to automatically sense it and start sending a request to new node. So this is like, you know, there is some mechanism by which load balancer has to know that there is a new node and let's start using this node also for serving the traffic, right? So for that, we implement some kind of a health check or some kind of a ping mechanism so that, you know, also some protocol by which the new node registers itself with the load balancer. That way, load balancer always has up to date list of which nodes are up and how can I distribute the traffic among all these nodes. So load balancer can be implemented as a hardware as well as a software component. So there are some specialized machines which work as a load balancer or there are like simple software systems like you know we have created that can be used for balancing the load. So with the help of a load balancer, an application can support a large number of concurrent users. So that is one main like usage of load balancer, like for a website like Google, Facebook, since like there are billions of users, so millions of active users at the same time, they need to use the like you know, a website. Then all the users, they reach out to load balancers for where it goes, the request goes to the backend servers. So that is the main purpose that load balancer can support a large number of concurrent users. So load balancer, there are different purposes like it can distribute the large number of client requests efficiently among multiple backend servers. It ensures the high availability and the reliability of the system also because if nodes go down, then clients don't come to know because load balancer is up. It can keep like, you know, knowing that which node is down so I can give pass this traffic to some other node. So that way availability is increased and it keeps sending client requests only to the servers that are online and up. Then we have flexibility. It also provides the flexibility to add or remove servers from a cluster as per the demand pattern. So if there is a like high demand, then more nodes are added and these nodes, clients will not come to know about these nodes. It will be transparent to them. They just need to reach out to the load balancer and more nodes can be added behind the scene. So that flexibility is given because there is a load balancer in between the client and the servers. Then what are the benefits of load balancer? So first benefit is scalability. As we mentioned, then adding more nodes to scale up the demand or whenever like scale down. So clients do not come to know that nodes have been reduced. So that scalability is a big benefit that load balancer provides. Then is reduced downtime. So if uh, like you know some nodes are down and because of that client requests are not getting uh, served with that load balancer, those requests can be served by some other node. So that way, overall downtime of the system is reduced. Flexibility is like you can add or delete nodes. Redundancy. So since there are like multiple nodes, so load balancer can send the request to multiple nodes and see that which one works faster and then that can be used to serve the response. So that kind of redundancy or replicas can be introduced. 
efficiency also like i mean sometime uh, if you have a critical mission critical kind of request so those requests go to multiple nodes so whichever nodes answer efficiently from there only the response is sent back and another big uh, benefit nowadays that we are seeing is multi-region support that if you have different geographies different regions to which uh, we have to serve then using a load balancer we can start supporting all the regions from the same kind of entry point so all these are the benefits of load balancer and they are, it is heavily used in our application architecture so i mean it's good to know about it and there will be more topics down the stream on the load balancer load balancing so do like you know uh, watch out to those future videos all right so if you have any other questions or any comments or feedback do post it in the comment section we'll be happy to answer it for you thank you everyone and have a great day